G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we are going to make some crochet lips. <laughs> yep that's right crochet lips. You would be shocked at how many requests I get for crochet lips so I thought I would design a pair. So it's a reasonably easy project we will have the pattern to follow along. All the links will be below in the description box and let's get started on the lesson. First of all we'll need to go to my website and print off the pattern. I will put the link below in the description box so we can follow along with that. So the stitches used are slip stitch, chain, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. The yarn can be any thickness and for the large ones I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook that's also an F size hook that came out about three and a half inches so the smaller your hook is the tidier stitches will be and it will come out smaller if you want it a larger one than that you could use two strands of yarn with a bigger hook and also for this demonstration I will be using the eight ply which is also equivalent to double knit or sports weight yarn I will be using a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook which is also a size D so you're just going to use a really small crochet hook to the yarn that you've got. You're going to need a pair of scissors and also a sewing needle. So grabbing your pattern we're going to follow along. What we need to do first is Put our supplies to the side, grabbing our yarn, and we are going to make a slip knot. So this yarn normally recommends a four millimeter or a size G hook, and so I've dropped down sort of what about three sizes so you're going to want a really reasonably small hook to the yarn that you've got because we want to make our stitches nice and tight and this will make it look better so what we want to do is chain 18 It feels so strange using a small hook because I'm used to using a bigger one. And we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So we don't count the one that's on there and we count this one here so that's number one and number two so we're going to single crochet into the second one. You could also work into the back bumps if you like. You can work it any way you like. So single crochet half double crochet into the next chain so yarning over finding the next chain half double crochet into that one my yarn's splitting so it's not staying together and on the pattern I'll quickly show you oh that's a bit too close up isn't it so on the pattern I've wrote Instead of me writing into the next stitch do this and into the next stitch do that, I'll just type the stitch and that is what you do into the chain. Each chain will have one stitch until the last chain. Okay, so what I've done then is just made a list of the stitches that we're going to do and each of these are going to be into the next chain. It just saved me typing up a whole heap. It's easier to keep a track because you're going, just going to the next one down. I actually had the pattern written out properly and it was so confusing that you just couldn't keep up you know when you look away to do your crochet and you look back to the pattern and it just oh. all the testers we all decided to write it out like that so the first one that we need to do on the list is a half double crochet you 
into the next one. It's a double crochet. So that's wrapping your yarn, pulling up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, another double crochet into the next one. treble into the next chain so wrap your yarn twice going into the next stitch pull through two pull through two pull through two double crochet into the next chain so each stitch goes into its own chain so double crochet half double crochet into the next one so wrapping your yarn pull through pull through all three single crochet and then it says if you want your lips more pronounced pronounced that's not the right word is it maybe it is anyway if you want your lips more pronounced use a slip stitch here instead of the single crochet now on my worsted weight lips, I used the single crochet, but if you want this section here, like push it down more, so further down and you want your lips more pouty, then instead of doing a single crochet, you can do a slip stitch. So I might use a slip stitch on this one because I did single crochet on the other one and that will show us the difference. So slip stitch into the next chain, so it's going in pull straight through but you could have done a single crochet if you wanted to half double crochet in the next one what was I doing half hang on sorry guys half double crochet so yarn over through all those double crochet treble which is wrapping twice pull through two through two through two double crochet another double crochet but in the next chain not into the same one half double half double again And then it says two single crochet into the last chain. So into this last one here, we're going to work two single crochet. So that's one. And we're actually going to be working down this side now. So I'm just turning my work around as I go. So into that same last chain, work another single crochet. So it says working down the other side of the chain and in between the stitches and not in the chain. We're going to single crochet. So what we need to do is find in between the stitches. So normally we would work into the chain and that will make a big hole. So if we go into this chain here it makes a hole, see so that? And that will stay there and it's horrible. So we're going to work in between the stitches. And it's going to be quite hard because these single crochet stitches here are quite tiny. So this one's quite hard. So just want in between the stitches. So there's a single crochet there and a single crochet there. 
going in between that. And our first stitch is a single crochet. We can work that easy. The next one is a half double crochet. So finding the next stitch along, so it's here and here. In between them is there. As we get along it's easier because we've got more space in between. There's a bigger gap. Just with our single crochets it's a little bit fiddly, but that's okay. We can find it still. So it's a half double crochet, so it's going in, pulling up a loop. Yarning over and pulling through all three loops. And it's a double crochet into the next three stitches, or three spaces. So finding the next one, double crochet, that's one. Finding the next gap. two and the next one that's three and then we've got one two three four five six trebles we want to work across here so yarning over twice for a treble one just one treble two Three, four. Now I've got a slip stitch here, so I'm just going to skip that little bit there and into the next gap. You may have had a single crochet. So that was five and we want to do six all together so it's just wrapping twice that's six and next one is a double crochet we need to do one of those so go into there One, next one is double crochet, that's two, next one is a double crochet, that's three, got a half double crochet. So as you get along and the, the gap's getting smaller, so you may just have to sort of pull them apart to see. So half double crochet is wrapping, oops, pulling through all three. And we've got single crochet. And then it says single crochet into the last stitch. So we've got our Last one. Slip stitch to join, leaving a long tail if you need to sew your lips onto a project or you can just sew in your ends if you don't need to. So going into the last bit there. We just want to slip stitch into here, otherwise we've got this little weird bit. So we want to slip stitch. Give it a bit of a wiggle. and then slip stitch and I am actually going to leave a long tail because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these but I reckon they'll look cute on a hat or something so just left something long enough to sew in all the ends grab that piece pull that through and that's actually upside down because it goes this way Blue. It's 
Where's that on my other one? This is my worsted weight, and it was with a what did I say I used? A 3.75. So it was actually well, just a little bit bigger than that one. So the one with the eight pliers turned out a smidge smaller, as you can see there. But there's not too much in it. Um, I couldn't find a smaller one than this that I was sort of comfortable working with. Anything smaller than that, and I'm just not used to it, so it kind of look a bit odd. But we do need to sew in this end. So we're just going to sew that in to the back of the stitches here somewhere. And that will just hide, that was the beginning tail, so we can just hide that in the back there. <laughs> They're so cute. They remind me, is it Rocky Horror Show? But I think they're red on the Rocky Horror Show at the beginning of the movie. So there's my lips. <laughs> they look so cute. So that's the difference. Um, this one used the slip stitch. I mean, it's different yarn too, so it will look a little bit different. But this is more pulled in at the at that bit, whatever that bit's called, on the mouth. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video that we did today. Please share your creations on our Facebook page. Please like the video and don't forget to comment below. And do me a favour and share this video with your friends. Hope you're having a great week. And until next time, happy crochet.